What's going on, guys? This is Rod Cap Trades. Uh, really quickly, I just want to go over um, how I make my levels, how these levels can elevate your trading. Um, I use these very same levels um, day to day when I make my watch list. Um, and a lot of times I get questions about, you know, hey, Rod, how do you make your levels? So I'm going to show you guys really quickly how I make these levels and how these levels can actually elevate your trading, right? Um, so uh, first off, you want to start with a, uh, a bigger time frame. You want to have a bigger scope of whatever you're looking to trade, the market, uh, whether it's your favorite stock, Nike, um, Amazon, Google, you know, whatever. Uh, so start with your, your bigger time frame. So that's going to be, you know, your monthlies, your weeklies, your dailies. Now, me personally, I start with the weeklies and then I go to the daily and then I do four hour and I stop there. Um, and that helps me get a bigger sense of what's going on. Uh, so if I'm using Thinkorswim, TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim platform. You want to use go down here and use this price level tool. And uh, you can just drag this cursor. Uh, and you want to meet the points. So like uh, the wicks. I take wicks. I look at uh, bodies, full bodies, where bodies reject. Um, I look at it all, and uh, typically, if you get three touches, it's like three. It's like a three touch rule. That's the golden rule. You get three touches of the same peaks or the same bottoms. Uh, generally speaking, that is a uh, trend, right? So I'm going to draw a line here. Now, my weekly levels are I color them yellow. Uh, my daily levels I do green. In my four hour levels, I do a uh, purple level and, and that helps me to identify uh, which level I'm coming to. So I'll know, you know, the importance of that level. All right, I'm just going to save this as default so I don't have to keep uh, doing this while I'm, I'm just going to do the weekly. I'm going to start with the weekly. So you, so you can see several times that price action has come and you know, uh, rejected or respected this level. Uh, so you, you you know it's a solid level, and that's great. You want to see that. Uh, the weekly level is a bigger time frame. So each one of these candlesticks represents uh, one week's worth of price action, every single one of these, right? And same thing for daily. Each of these candles represents a one day's of price action. Uh, so I'm just going to do this. I've seen this level hit a couple times. Yes, see, awesome. Look at this, boom, boom, boom. You guys see how accurate these levels are? So you know if you get a strong push above, then usually it means something. See, we got a strong push above. We got bullish divergence here on the squeeze. Bullish divergence, guys, remember that if you're watching my other videos, I talk a lot about this. This will give you some kind of indication of where we're going next, all right? Uh, and so I'm not gonna do the whole chart, I'm just gonna show you guys come over here and then I'm going to start looking at my daily levels uh, looking at daily rejections wicks and stuff like that um, let's see we're kind of we're respecting this level here I'm going to change this color to uh, green for my daily set as default all right, and you can see the yellow lines are still there, right? So when you switch this to like your lower time frames, if you guys are uh, day trading, scalping, you're probably uh, looking at the smaller time frames. So when you when you approach these levels on the intraday, uh, that's what they'll look like. All right, so I'm just looking for some touches, a couple touches. I see this is one. I really like these wicks and see this wick cuts off at the top of those bodies over here, over here, right? It's a range right there, right? I like that. That's what you're looking for, guys. If you do this enough, you start to see, you start to form some really, really dependable, reliable levels that you can play off of. Me and my team, we play off these levels every single day. Then we eat off these levels. You know, we take our entries off these levels. It's, it's just the way. Definitely uh, some 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 uh, respecting going on here in this range. So I want to capture that. All right, and you'll do that 
And um, I'm gonna go down to the four hour. And you'll see like on the bigger time frames, let me just show you the bigger time frames, they'll look kind of messy, like real, you know, you'll see a lot of lines there. That's okay because when you go down to the like one hour, you see it looks it looks a lot, looks a lot differently, right? And and you can play these levels. You see how it's respecting these levels? You can play these levels. All right, so I'm gonna go to the four hour. And uh, looking for some some touches here. Boom, boom, boom. There's one. I'm gonna change the color of that to purple, right? That's what I said. Purplish color. All right, change that to the default. Come down here. Boom, boom, boom. boom. I thought I changed the default. Guess I didn't. And you know, like that. See these wicks. Level there. Like that level there. See, this right here forms sort of a range. So you've got two four-hour levels together. That's a range there. Uh, when I get these range, I like to come over here and get this rectangle. And uh, you can just come in here and do like this, you know. Glad we saw this. You can do this. And now, you know, once you approach this level, let's say we break above this level, uh, you know, you know that you're likely you could still uh, pull back here. So until you clear this, you know, you have to clear this this level, this shade here, uh, before you can really be out of the out of the clear. Okay. All right. And so uh, that's how I make my levels, guys. Nothing special, right? Um, at least for my think or swim levels, this is how I I do it on TradingView. Um, I have another way I go about um, doing my levels. Um, and my uh, my new ebook I just dropped, um, I Spy. I go over um, those levels as well in that ebook. All right. So uh, really quickly, I'm going to just show you guys how massive um, how massive moves can come from using these levels. Right. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of plays really quickly that we took this week. Remember, guys, when I when I do my charting, I try to chart for the week so that we can eat. Um, the team and I can eat. Uh, for the entire week, right? So what are some plays we took? Uh, let's check out Fubo. Fubo was a nice one. It's a daily chart, right? Um, I'm gonna break this down. See if you guys can spot something, right? Uh, my In my other videos, we were going over trends, pattern recognitions. So we, uh, we started Fubo Monday here, right? You guys see the pattern here? Can you guys identify the pattern, what's going on? All right, got the four hour chart, the one hour chart pulled up. Check this out, bull flag, right? You guys guess bull flag, yes. So uh, I identified this bull flag here, put this on the watch list. I saw the squeeze uh, forming the next day. And uh, look at here, we got another tight range. All right, tight range, explosion, consolidation. Con consolidation, we got a bull flag here, a break of that trend line, Drew, that trend line that uh, pre-market we got a break of that um, I set our buy above that level um, a lot of us took entry on that we ate really well off of that uh, we got some consolidation we're starting to get a trend right you see bull flag consolidation breakout consolidation you know bull flag consolidation breakout you know bull flag look right even today right we got another one uh, a break of this ascending triangle we're getting uh, bull flag breaks, ascending triangle breaks. And look, again, we're, we're flagging again, right? There's a trend, all right? So Monday, guess what's going to be on the watch list? You got it. All right. 
And so we'll look to see if this will start squeezing or see what happens here. Uh, look to see how tight these bands get, and we'll we'll take we'll execute from there. Okay, get getting a release from a four hour squeeze, getting some bullish momentum. We'll see what happens. All right, another ticker was uh, Tesla. Oh, you guys love Tesla. Tesla was uh, releasing from a daily squeeze. Let me pull that out for you. Daily squeeze for Tesla. Squeeze release, right? Uh, a lot of people uh, took advantage of this, were able to eat off of this. All right. You want to look at this on a smaller time frame. So check out the uh, one hour, four hour. Tight, tight squeeze, explosion, right? Consolidation here. All right. So huge move here for the week on Tesla. Um, congratulations if you guys executed on this. Um, the Tesla was on the watch list, uh, just about every admin and TCX. Uh, all of us, everyone in the entire chat was in Tesla. So everyone ate well off Tesla. Great job. Uh, Shopify was uh, another one. Shopify was another one. Another one that um, had constant trends, right? Check this out. Tight range, guys. Bullish divergence, squeeze, release, explosion, consolidation, explosion. You know, bullish divergence, squeeze, bullish divergence. You know, um, and finally, uh, shop made uh, a move to the downside, but we weren't we weren't playing it here. Um, but um, awesome, awesome job. Hats off to the guys that executed on this through this on the watch list a few times this week. Uh, so hats off to you guys to execute on this and, and make some money on that. We're going to go to uh, Netflix, actually. Netflix. Caught Netflix Friday. Today. And uh, Netflix has some some news. Um, this was a, wasn't really hard to uh, spot this one out. I'm just really quickly going to show you uh, so Netflix, the reason I threw this on the watch list, Netflix was releasing from a really, really tight range, right? Tight squeeze here on the daily. Uh, we're gapping up, and, you know, typically you get that explosion out, especially if you break um, out of these ranges. And see here I have this uh, four-hour range mark. This was our entry level. It rallied a good bit, right? So pass off to the guys that executed on that. Um, I saw you shout me out and your profits. Thank you. Um, Great job on execution, guys. So as you can see, these levels can uh, really, really, can really impact your trading. It can really um, elevate you to the next level, All right? Um, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, hit the like button. If you're not already subscribed to, the, to my uh, channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you're looking to stay updated with anything I have going on, uh, there will be a link below, okay? Um, you guys take care. Thank you for your time.